The Texas Chainsaw Massacre arguably laid the foundation for horror films involving lunatics killing unsuspecting teens, but what's seen from the film's 2022 sequel has gripped both fans and detractors alike. It's clear from the film's opening that 2022's Texas Chainsaw Massacre is situated within the same universe as Toby Hooper's original 1974 cult classic slasher flick. With a hair-raising musical score, John Lariquette reprises his role as the narrator from the first movie, detailing the grisly and gruesome attacks that happened to a group of young people. The shocking murders were committed with a variety of tools, including hammers, meat hooks, and most disturbingly, a chainsaw. The first two minutes of the film reintroduce the lone 74 chainsaw survivor, Sally Hardesty, now an older and more grizzled survivalist version of herself. New blood has arrived in Harlow, Texas, in a group of gentrifying vlogging entrepreneurs who plan to revitalize the town with trendy businesses and the wealthier residents they'll bring in, even if it means displacing the locals. Through a series of unfortunate events, the youths get on Leatherface's bad side, and even though the large adult son has been dormant for nearly 50 years, he can still mightily swing a Husqvarna. Leatherface's introduction in Hooper's original stands tall as one of the scariest scenes of all time, but every entry in the Texas Chainsaw Pantheon has its memorable moments, from Dennis Hopper double-fisting chainsaws in the 1986 sequel to Ken Foray kicking butt and taking names in Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, four years later. There was plenty of material to pull from, but the 2022 Texas Chainsaw Massacre acts as a direct sequel to Hooper's original film and disregards the seven sequels and iterations that came before it. The goal for the most recent Texas Chainsaw Massacre was to connect the old to the new and come up with a way to thrill modern audiences. In the 2022 sequel, Leatherface, still strong enough to launch that sledgehammer like a frisbee, is tired of these kids on his lawn, and he decides to inform the youths that their time in Harlow has come to an end. While the gentrifying squadron celebrates their brand aboard a party bus, Melody and Lila climb on, the former having just escaped from Leatherface's spinning blades. She urges the driver to take off, Drive! <laughs> but he's unable to keep his head. Soon, the sawman steps in to formally decline the entrepreneur's plans for Harlow. In a stunning five-minute festival of sick-making, he signs this letter with the saw, making sure every single passenger aboard gets the memo. A millennial warns the six-foot-seven butcher, Try anything you cancel, bro. After claiming his first victim, Leatherface turns the party bus into the pain wagon, slicing and dicing his way through 18 would-be investors. Amid the mayhem, a man is hoisted onto the saw until his body slams into the bus ceiling, a pair of screaming victims are impaled together, and one unfortunate woman is bisected as she crawls through a window. Her top half does escape the bus, though. The scene lands well with audiences for similar reasons as Gabriel's Jailhouse Massacre in Malignant and the Fireman Massacre in Halloween Kills. There's nothing like a group kill to make the man mythic. Gabriel is just a growth, so how malignant could he be? Is Michael Myers really the boogeyman if he limits his kills to a hospital orderly and a couple of babysitters? In order for these killers to advance beyond some guy with a knife and Tim's and nasty scalp issue, there must be some incredible feats of power. But David Gordon Green's Halloween and David Blue Garcia's Texas Chainsaw Massacre share a special imperative. They have to convince modern, jaded horror audiences that these angry old men are still worth watching. And that requires some flexing. The bus massacre sequence delivers buckets of blood and reasserts Leatherface as the iconic raging juggernaut who stormed through the nightmares of generations. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.